Good morning, everyone. This is January the 25th, 2022. 10.30 a.m. Zero degrees Celsius for the wind chill of minus three. Well, this morning, I'm beginning kind of in the south end, but we're going to take a walk across and end up in the north end today. And a little different route than I've taken previously, so that's always nice to have a different route. So, anyways, it's not a bad day for a walk, I don't think. Zero degrees, minus three with the wind chill. That's, that's not bad. One week left to go in December. Oh, sorry, January. One, one week left to go in January, and we will be in a little bit warmer month of February. That's going to be great. I should push my button here to do this safely. I'm walking westward on Green Garden Road for now. When I turn north, it's going to be great because I'm going to have the wind at my back when I, I'm just checking it out here. The wind's at my back going north. So, a little bit of a side wind right here, which isn't too bad. And the rest of the journey will be at my back as I walk toward the north end. You can see I'm walking past the public garden. I'm not going in there today. I'm going to walk right on by because we got some other things in mind today. So we keep right on up and eventually we'll take a street across to the north end, which I have to be at a certain time this morning. So I have to combine my, my walks with other things I have to do. So that's how that works. I have other things that I have to do, and I have to be there at a certain time, so I do my walk to fit in with what's at the other end of my walk. All right. I don't think too many people go out and have only one thing to do in that day. That would be great if that's it, that was it, but. Usually there's two or three things you have to do before you finish your day, so. Oh, by the way, we're getting a little bit of snowfall. I don't think you can see it. Let's see if you can see it on the screen. I saw a little bit. Yeah, every once in a while you can see a little bit of snow going by. Isn't that something now? Great. Always nice to have a, a little snow in with my walk. It doesn't hurt a thing, have some snow. The only thing is I got a little bit of wind, I gotta guide my mic a little when the wind's blowing. It's not bad, just a little bit. When you're at zero and you only got a minus three wind chill, you know the wind's not blowing too hard most of the time. Once in a while you get out in the open, you might get a little, a little more wind, but normally, when there's only three degrees of it, there's not too much wind. Kind of a gray, overcast day. Cloud, pretty much cloudy for the most part, and a little flurry. They said they were calling for uh, a little bit of flurries or a small amount of rain. I'd rather have the flurries because it's, it's not as hard to walk in as the rain. So I, I didn't bring my umbrella. I was thinking about it last night and I think when I go out today I should take it. But then I walked out and never thought of it. So 
We'll hope it continues to snow and don't do any raining until at least I get my video done. Let me just check my other phone and see what the time is right now. Okay, we're just a little bit beyond 10.30, not much. So, that's good. That's good. I went out yesterday to make a video and ended up sitting in Tim Hortons having coffee and I came back home. <laughs> uh, I didn't, I, I wasn't very inspired yesterday when I was going to make a video of So, I went out for coffee and I knew I had today I could do it, so that was okay. Well, I'll get across and wait make this before the light changes. Perhaps I am up in the university area. Just about everything down that way. It's good to do with the university. And up this way, and some things over this way, but not everything. <laughs> well, what route do you want to take? When I walked over here, Sunday doing Monday's video, I came down the street and then I went into the south end. But I walked across Roby. So we're not going to walk Roby because I did that. I did the north end of that on, on uh, Thursday or Friday. And then I did the south end of Roby on Sunday. For Monday, so we're not going to walk Roby today. We're going to walk something else. Oh, I see somebody trying to get in here. I better hurry up and get out of the way. Well, we're a month past Christmas now. It feels like a half a year ago. That month is always the longest, it feels the longest. The month after Christmas feels like about three or four or five months. One month. I guess it's because it's so cold and all the excitement over Christmas and things you had to do. And then after Christmas you don't have too much to do like that. Still haven't got the decorations all put away though. I took a bunch of them down to our storage. I took about three quarters of them, maybe a little more. But there's a little bit left I gotta take down if I'm ever home long enough to, to do that. Well, there's a quite a little, I wouldn't call it a heavy snow, but you can certainly see it now coming down. That. I'm going to go across the street at Roby and it may go just a little tiny bit on Roby and then go west from there because 
I think that'll work a bit better for me than going up around the curve and going that way. So we'll go straight across, down a couple of streets, and then we'll go up another street. Right? I think that'll work out much better. All right. So I'm going down Roby for a block or two at the most. And then I'm going to make a left and go west again. Well, you can see all we have for snow. Just a little bit on the side. Not where I wouldn't say we had a lot of snow, but yet we have one inch on the ground. Maybe. About one inch on the ground, and then and then that's it. A lot of places are bare, but with the little dust of snow we got the last day and today, it's white again. I think Sunday when I walked across here, it was only little strips on the sides and the rest was bare. But we got a little tiny bits of snow off and on. I'll probably take the next street. I think that's probably the best way to go. I don't want to walk across Roby all the way because I've walked that, you know, both ends of it. So we'll either take Windsor or Oxford. Roby Street, Dental Center. And right down the corner, we got East Coast Brothers. This is Vinnie Street. Can't say I've ever been on it, but we'll take it. Okay, we're going west on Vinnie Street. Up in the direction of Oxford and also Windsor. But we'll see when we get up here what we'll do. Maybe I'll zigzag my way up. That might do that too. As you can see, this is a residential street here. Some apartments and some self-contained houses. This is Edward Street. I'm on the corner of it's Edward. And what did I say? The other street was Winnie. Winnie. Winnie Street.
I think I said Winnie, but it might have been Vinny. Let's go, let's just check this line, because I gotta be accurate here. Vinny with a B. Well, they almost got it right. B-I-N-N-E-Y, Vinny. Vinny Street. All right. We'll be making a, a right up here because the street that ends. And this will be the end of Vinny Street. We'll make a right here. So we'll go, we'll keep making our way over. I might have to zigzag a little bit here. But we'll get there. I'll show you parts of the city you haven't seen before. You have seen some of these streets back in here, but not all of them. So we'll go up this way. I'm not sure what the street is because I didn't see a, a sign for it. So, but as soon as I see one, I'll let you know. Mailman's on the job here this morning, coming down the sidewalk. He was already over in my neighborhood. All right, we'll go over. We'll cross the street and we'll keep on going. And then when we get to, if I don't turn left before, I'll turn left at Quinpool. And then I'll go up there to the, whatever street I'm gonna take across. Okay, that sound fair? Okay, I haven't decided yet which way I'm taking across the city, but I'm going in the right direction anyways. I'm heading north. We are south of Quinpool, and I got to end up, as usual, up by Young Street, because that's where I have to be at 11.30. Between 11, 30, and 12. So, I think it's not gonna to be too hard a walk to, to do that. I've got over an hour to do it in. Jubilee, Jubilee Road. That sounds like the road. One of my viewers, I can't remember which one it was, asked me to walk up Jubilee Road because he told me he used to live on that street. And I forget what the number was on the street where he used to live, but I don't think I'm up too far on Jubilee. So I'm gonna go the rest of the way up this way. And hopefully, the, the person that asked me to check on this, I hope you see this video and I hope you see your house. He grew up here, he lives in another city now. And he asked me a couple of times if I would walk by, come up Roby and walk up Jubilee Road. And so he could just see where he used to live. Uh, hopefully I came up I'm not up too far. So I'll do my best with what's left of Jubilee Road to do that for you. Hopefully you see your house. I'll swing my phone around different directions so if it's here you'll see it. It might be the other direction. In which case I've already passed. I try to do things for people when they ask me, but sometimes it don't work out, and sometimes it does. All right, let's keep on going the way we are going. It's 
It's all my friend that used to live, grew up on Jubilee Road. I hope I show you house. I don't know what the number is or if I'm too far up. But we'll give it a good shot today and hopefully you'll see it. There's a school right there. Maybe you went to school at that school on Jubilee Road and whatever that other street is. I'll let you know when I get up there. It looks like an elementary school by the looks of the kids. Probably grade one to five or one to six. You know. Whatever, wherever the, the cutoff age is. Yeah, these kids look like they're in about grade. Oh, I'd say four or five. Five, maybe, yeah. Uh, somewhere around grade five. It's hard to judge when you're my age. Well, I'm staying out of the wind pretty good up in here. Can't feel anything, can't hear any wind, which is always good for a walk. Let's see how long have I been walking. I've been walking 20, right now. Looks like, looks like 30, 32 minutes. Has it been that long? Don't feel like it. But maybe. Okay, we're still on Jubilee Road. I don't think there's a street sign on that corner anywhere to tell you what the street is. There's none there. City councilors, can we please get somebody working on these street signs? It's going to be a big job because they have to check every intersection and see which ones are missing and put new signs up. And on the major streets, how about some uh, larger signs so you can spot them from a distance? You know, these are just suggestions, but. If you happen to be watching my video and uh, any city councilor see it, you can just tell them you thought of it. And maybe you'll get a big promotion or something. I am now at Chestnut Street. I'm in an area that I haven't really been in much before.
Okay, let's make it right here. There's no street signs here either. What's going on? So I can't tell you the name of the street right now because I've kind of gone through a couple of intersections and no, no street signs. So hopefully soon I'll be able to tell you what the street is. But I can't get lost. All I gotta do is keep going in the same direction. I know I'm heading north and that's where I have to be, so. It's all going to work out, but it would be nice to be able to tell you folks what street I'm on. I might see one soon and be able to shed some light on what this street is that I'm walking on right here now. Okay. Okay, I think I'll take this crosswalk because it's safer that way. There we go. Take this crosswalk and I'm heading north again. All right. I know I walked past that school one day <coughs> back in the summer. I was walking in one little section over here and I walked past that school which means I'm getting pretty close to to Quinpool Road that's called Halifax Central Junior High Halifax Central Junior High School okay that was just a little bit south of Quinpool. So I'm gonna get to Quinpool very shortly. <coughs> then we'll go, we'll take a left turn there and go westward, I guess. And go up to whatever street I'm gonna go across to get to the north end, I'm not sure yet. But we'll decide between here and there. Well, I'm thankful it's not cold out. It's really nice. Especially when you're walking. And I got a backpack on. And that, that stuff all helps me to generate heat when I'm walking. So it's really, I'm really not cold at all walking along here today. All right. I'm at the corner of Norwood and Preston. That's what the street is called, Preston. And it's gonna bring me right out on Quinpool. Then we'll go west on Quinpool. Snow's picking up a little bit, I think. My phone is making a whole bunch of beep and I'm just gonna look at it. See if I can tell if it's anything much. Uh, a Facebook post. That's all. That's okay. I don't interrupt my videos to answer Facebook. And the only person I interrupt my video for texting is my wife. Anybody else can wait till I've done my video and I'll text them back. Well, if it's my wife, it could be important, so... I just turn the video off and answer the phone and... 
and then turn it back on when I, when I start again. But for anybody else, I'm not even going to do that. So that intersection where the light is would be Gwynpool. And we'll take a left there. Now I walked over in this neighborhood once. I think it was about July or August maybe. It was about July or August when I walked in that neighborhood. Quite warm out that day as I recall. It definitely wasn't jacket weather. Uh, this must be the big Baptist church that's right on the corner here. I would assume. In which case, that's a good landmark for where we're going to be when we get onto Quinpool. I don't think a little snow will hurt my phone. Not good to get a lot of water in things, but a little bit of snow will not really hurt. I meant to bring the umbrella, but I forgot it, of course. So, let's go this way. Heading up Quimpool. And I'll take the first side street I come to going north, if it's a major, we'll see what it is. I'm not, you know, I'm not really good at all these streets up here yet, but the first one that goes across, we'll take it. walking. No, 32, like that. I was wrong before, I, I didn't see it with Well, my, my friend um, used to live on Jubilee Road. I hope I showed your house. If not, let me know which way I should have gone. If I should have, instead of turning left, I should have turned right, maybe. So let me know. I hope, hopefully you saw the house, and that would be great. It's always nice when you live away somewhere to look at something and see, oh, there's my old neighborhood where I used to live, or there's the school I went, or whatever.
across here. There's several people that grew up in Halifax that are subscribers on my YouTube channel. And some are in Vancouver, other parts of BC, some are in Alberta, and one is in Winnipeg, and some are in Ontario. And I'm sure I left some provinces out, but those are the ones I... I recall and then I've got some I got them from all over the world too some are in India and some are in uh, China Japan uh, I can't even think of half of them now places where people live that, that I'm watching my videos Want to know what street we're on? There you go. 2070 Oxford Street. So we'll just stick right on it. We'll go right across Oxford. And that'll take us right over to Young Street. And we'll go straight down from there. Well, this little bit of snow is just making it beautiful. Walking along here and a little bit of snow falling. Love it. Let's see how many it is we're at now. Well, it looks like 30, 38 or something like that. If that's right, then that's, we're doing good. We're making good time. I'm gonna look at my phone and see how my time is coming there. 11.06. I think I can be up there by 11.30. And that was just a rough figure. It don't have to be exactly 11.30. But I think I can. Well, I think I can make it. Or pretty close to it. There, see if I can get myself focused a little better. How about set it on this? There we go, well, that's better. Okay. Yeah, you can see the snow falling down pretty good.
whoops, hit my hit my phone there accidentally. But, uh, Okay, I keep on moving. Try to make my deadline if I can. Well, I'll get my steps in today, that's for sure. Quite a bit of snow coming now, see that? Well, it's not, a, it's not enough to accumulate, but it's much better than it was when I first started. I know where we are now. I'm getting over in my familiar area. The area I was in, I don't go that area very often. And the, the side streets and back streets, I'm not real familiar with them. But I know where I am now, it's familiar territory from here on. The next street over is North Street. Go through this red light and then the next street. And the two streets come down to a point right there. So this is the area I'm familiar with from here on over. Say I know the major streets in the south end and, and in the central part, but a lot of the side streets I've never been on them. But okay, to save a little bit of time, I'm not going to take Oxford the rest of the way because it kind of turns off to the left a little bit. So we'll go down North Street and then we'll take one across from there. It might make it a little quicker for us. Maybe. Not sure. Well, we gotta walk here. We'll go right across here. Okay. We'll cross here when we can. down through here. I know we walked this street once, maybe a week or two ago. This little a block or two right here. Look, they're starting to put the, the crane up. There's the first step of the crane. Starting to put the crane up for the step. <coughs> I think it's only a, it's a one, two, it's a six story building, I think. Right. Yeah, I'll keep a check on my time. Eleven twelve. Hmm. Gonna be close. She said she'd be there at 11.30, so it's 11.12 now. It'll be close. Well, 
Well, that's going to make a great video with the snow on the sides of the sidewalk and you can see the snow falling. There's the third school I've seen since I've been out walking. It must have been really great for the kids growing up at all these schools and all the neighborhoods. They wouldn't have had to walk too far to get to school. Unlike when you live in a little village and you got one school and you got to walk a mile or two to get to that one school. Dublin Street. I know I passed that one day. The day I walked down through here, probably a, a week or two ago, I walked from down a part of North Street and I passed Dublin Street. So I'm not going to walk all the way down North Street. I'm going to maybe take... I'll go one more block and then I'll go left. And we'll gradually make our way over there. And hopefully I can make it by 
Then when we get to Almond, we'll make it right. See, there's where my neighborhood is, where I'm going, where those cranes are. You probably know that area pretty good by now. I've been over there quite often. But every Tuesday, I think I've told you this before, but every Tuesday, my wife has a small day on Tuesday, and I usually meet up with her at Kim Martin's, and we, she has an hour for lunch, and, and we hang out there and have coffee and talk. I'd say that was a pretty good uh, track record, wouldn't you? We've been married 30 years, and I still hurry to meet up with her and have coffee. So that's, that says something about our relationship over the years. I've thought about relationships a lot and what makes them work and what don't. And I think one of the main things that makes a relationship work is being able to say, sorry, I was wrong. When you, instead of, oh no, I'm right, I'm right, you're wrong. No, it doesn't matter after a while who's right and who's wrong. The thing that matters is you don't fight about it. That's the, that's the thing that, that, that matters to do with relationships is, is being kind to the other person. Don't 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 be don't be an angry person. Be be kind and be calm. Help them when you can. And uh, and I think it'll work out. Be, be generous, along with being kind. And that's that's my my philosophy on marriage. Don't be too quick to blame the other one. Don't get angry with them. If you, if you do get a little irritated, because once in a while we probably all do, we, we, you know, as part of our humanity, we get uh, irritated about things sometimes. But as quickly realize that it's okay, it's not worth being mad about. I think so. Anyway, that's my little my little take on it. I'm on the corner of Windsor and Windsor. Right there. Windsor and Windsor. Windsor Terrace and Windsor Street. I don't think I noticed that the other time I was by here. That was Windsor Terrace and Windsor Street. Let me check my phone now and see how I'm doing for time. I'm just gonna about get there when I said I would. 11.22, I've got eight minutes and then I'm late. <laughs> oh well, I think I'll be all right. When she says 11.30, it may not be quite exactly 11.30 either. But she's pretty good at guessing the time when she'll be there.
Now I don't know which would be the shortest route. Down Almond or straight across Windsor and down Yonge Street. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll try Almond. I guess. Okay. All in it is. All in it is. I'm gonna run across here. There, okay. There's the sorting station for the post office. Canada Falls Halifax sorting station. This 6175 Almond. There's another building in there. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that one. That's that's the one where the bus terminal was. It was called North Station. That's what it's going to be called, North Station. I'll be cutting her close. I'll be there just about time she's driving in. Let's see, we have another peek. Five minutes. I'm five minutes away, and it's just over there. So, we'll see. We'll see who gets there first. That street right there, I believe it's called Gladstone. I was trying to think of that. I had a hard time remembering that street, but I think it's Gladstone, if I'm not mistaken. These buildings are climbing. I don't know how many stories we've got there now, but the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're on about the eleventh and twelfth. Door of that building now. She might get there a couple of minutes before me, but not much. And sometimes she says 11.30, but then she don't make it till 11.35 or something, so. I think I see her truck down there. <laughs> she got to get there before I may if that's her truck. I think it is from what it looks like from here. 
That looks like her top. Okay, I'll cut the corner here now, I'll make it a little quicker. Cut through the parking lot. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> Midland Courier. That's her going there. She's going to race me to our destination today. Sometimes I get there first, but not today. I'm not going to be too much behind her. A couple of minutes. And sometimes she has a delivery right there. So she might even do a delivery, but if that's the case, then I'll have time to get there. Be so noisy after the residential streets. You can see the snow in the air when you look far away, right? She's texting me, I heard ding. I'm gonna stop just a second under the phone but you can stay. I'll keep my video going. I'll see you in about two minutes. I'll, I'm uh, inside of there, so I'm about to be there in about two minutes. Okay, I'll find you inside. Oh, you right. Okay, yeah, that worked out all right. She beat me by about two minutes today. Whoops, there we go. Okay. There we go. See, I almost made it, but uh, she got ahead of me today. Well, we'll get up here to my, to a, a spot where I can stop and I'll sign off. That's good. I had no issues with my phone today. Everything went great. The video is all in one piece. No correction to make. No loud wind blowing in my microphone. I guess you could say it was a perfect walk. Gotcha. It's a perfect walk. Okay, right here I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off. And if you enjoyed this little walk today, you push that like button, that'd be really good. And if you're not yet a subscriber, push that button and I'll add another subscriber to my list. And if you are, thanks so much for becoming a subscriber and being one of my loyal viewers. Okay, on that note, bye for now. You have a great day. See you later.